Jesus' resurrection should have such a clear impact on us that people would look at us as pitiful, strange, if eternal life is not real. So our lives should have some daily resurrection effect, you might say. Some impact of our, of our Lord and Savior's resurrection on how we live. Just as Paul noted that impact in his letters, the first witnesses of Jesus' resurrection experienced some undeniable impact in their lives the day that Jesus rose. Right? And so as we open uh, God's Word to John chapter 20 this morning, as we continue our study through this gospel account, we come to the account of John about the resurrection of Jesus. I want us to see here the impact on these first followers and pray for an appropriate resurrection effect on us. John's main point is how Jesus' resurrection changed these people, how it changes people, how it changed these original disciples, and how it can change us. And so in this first scene in verses 1 to 10, of John 20, I want you to see that Jesus' resurrection changes curiosity into certainty. First of two points today as we walk through this text to to see that verses 1 to 10, Jesus' resurrection changes curiosity into certainty. When you see this transformation that the resurrection affected in John's life, it caused in John's life, what is it? He, he was moving there, running with this loving motive to see out of curiosity, and he left there with certainty. And just as surely as, as Peter had denied Christ, John must have, have experienced doubts and fears about what to think after Jesus died. Right? Peter struggled that night, we read and we studied, And John certainly still believed in Jesus. He was his king. He was his Messiah. He was his Lord, but he'd been killed. What would happen next? What should he do next? I mean, he'd left the fishing business for following this Jesus. Now what? And he was curious. Well, what what next? There's this empty tomb. I got to go check this out. Maybe there's some clue about what to do next. And what he saw transformed him from curiosity to certainty, from confusion to conviction. Jesus rose again. He believed. And he would never be the same. That's what Jesus' resurrection does. It changes curiosity into certainty, into conviction. And that's the point we can take home from this first scene in John 20 today. Don't leave the resurrection as an afterthought. Included, make sure, in the proclamation of the gospel. And when you know that, when you know Him as Lord and Savior, when you know His resurrection is sure, and you wrestle with doubt about your faith, with uncertainty about God's promises, or or confusion about your future, return to the Scripture and the certainty that the resurrection gives to all of those promises. They are yes and amen in Christ because He is raised. He has risen and proven it. Return to the rock-solid reality that many passages remind us of, that He did conquer death, He did rise in victory, He did ascend to the Father, and He is interceding for us continually and forever for all who trust Him. I mean, who else promises that and proves it? And more than the resurrection merely being powerful in our thinking, Jesus' resurrection also has the power to heal hurting hearts That's what the second scene here unfolds by John, records verses 11 to 18. Note secondly that Jesus' resurrection changes despair into delight. It changes despair into delight. That was the message after the resurrection. Intimacy with our Maker and the glory of the power of the resurrection. And in that way, Jesus' resurrection changes despair into delight. Changes despair into delight. 
And that's true of them, and that's true of us. If, if you are, are, are overcome with despair of, of what your life is like in this life, despair over your condition as a sinner against God, whether you're in despair from your own sin and guilt, or, or whether you are taken down by the, the fear of death, or what may come, or worry over, over health, or relationships, or problems, or, or whatever else, Jesus, the risen one, can transform that despair into delight. He conquered all the ills of the physical body and promised new bodies for those who trust Him. He he tells us to look beyond this little fleeting life to what He's got stored up yet ahead. He defeated sin, and there will be a time where it is we are free from sin if we know Him, free from the guilt and penalty because He has finished that work, and He proved His power over all those things. And so everything that we despair over can be changed into delight by the power of the resurrection. More broadly, what, what practices, what, what priorities in your life need to be changed by this powerful effect of Jesus' resurrection? We need to reacquaint ourselves with that power, both in our daily Christian walk and in our evangelism. That we're proclaiming this risen Savior. We're following this risen Savior to praise Him, to meditate on that reality, and to pray for you to know Christ and the power of His resurrection. It changes curiosity into certainty, despair into delight for the first disciples, and it does for us as well.